Hello from Crypto Arena. Today we're gonna try to find the best food in Crypto Arena. For the most part, it's not really a place that you want to come to eat, but we're just gonna find the best stuff or the only ones that are worth eating. Are you ready to go eat? Yeah. It's really stiff. You know when they say hot dog's a sandwich? Hot dog's a sandwich here for sure. How is it? It's so dry. Oh no. Oh my god. I don't know what's worse, too dry or too saucy. And the bread is really greasy. I'm only gonna eat half of it. Too much bread. <laughs> Just eat the hot dog part. Definitely not recommended then. Ooh. But the hot dog, it's really beefy and salty, which is like a hot dog, but <laughs> I don't really taste the bacon at all. It just tastes like hot dog, yeah. like the whole thing. <laughs> this is the aftermath. <laughs> all bread. If it had like a fraction of the bread, it'd be okay. Or if we're just eating straight up hot dog, maybe. <laughs> but no, definitely not recommended. Don't On to the next. It's Ed edamame for $11. Edamame for $11? Vegetable combo is 15. Crunchy dragon roll is 24.75. Okay. I wouldn't trust sushi at no, the but Staples Center or anyone. There's an Asian guy making sushi. Okay. So it's legit. Okay, you try it, let me know. <laughs> no, I don't want to pay $24. <laughs> During regular time, maybe Blaze Pizza, but not at a game. But shout out to Skylar, our best fan. We love Blaze Pizza here at the game. So um, far, it's slim pickings, man. <laughs> Three tacos, $14.99. Okay. That's not that, that's not that bad. It's better than the, that hot dog that yeah. we spent over $10 for. Yeah. Okay, let's get the pork belly tacos and the garlic fries. Okay. The loaded fries, loaded fries was recommended by Funk Master Select, our favorite Funk Master. Skip out on that this time because we need to eat more. That for sure is messy. If we wanted to take this, we for sure would make a huge mess. Yeah. Eat tacos and then a garlic fries. Greasy. Looks very greasy. It's not gonna help my skin. Pork belly confit tacos. Wow, sounds so fancy. Confit just means it's cooked it in its own juices. <laughs> I'm French in my past life. These tacos look promising. The tortilla is not like super overcooked feeling. It's corn tortilla too. It's corn tortilla, yeah, which is our favorite. It looks fancy. And there seems like a decent amount of pork belly in and here. It has good sauce. Yeah, and it's not like falling apart. But like if I did want to eat this at my seat, then it that wouldn't would be, be challenging. too bad. I guess you could eat tacos with one hand. It has potential. Pork belly really, really done. Like very well done. And there's not like a lot of savory or like the smooth buttery type taste in the non-crispy part of it. It just it tastes very crunchy. The pickled veggies in it are not bad, but for $15 for three tacos, I don't know, man. I wasn't expecting a whole lot either, but... There doesn't look like there's a lot of garlic on these garlic fries. The garlic fries are okay, but just kind of tastes like regular fries. Oh, man. <laughs> kind of, there's not like a whole lot of garlic on it. But we got here early. There's still 45 minutes till tip off. And we're here, sitting here, which is nice. You can kind of chill. You don't have to worry about waiting in line to get in and all that and rushing. But you could have a much better experience outside of the arena. Than yeah. Practically any of the places. At Tom's here. Urban. Tom's Urban, anywhere. But it's not bad. It's not horrible. It's doable. So, like, it depends on what you're expecting. If you're expecting, like, gourmet type of stuff, then you might be disappointed. But if you're just for here for a quick bite to eat, and if you're like drinking a ton, maybe that's even worth it. Check out that pool of oil. Oh, jeez. Fries, punky. <laughs> <laughs> For six dollars more, you can get a plant based. Holy moly! <laughs> yeah. If you need something vegan, right? Just eat outside. <laughs> if you're vegan, just eat outside. Thank you. Their chicken nuggets is frozen. $10 burger. Oh, at least the lettuce looks really nice. Shout out to, oh shoot, I forgot who it was, but they said low key tastes like Burger King. Kind of oh, looks like Burger King, right? Oh, where's the mayo? No mayo. Okay. Yeah, pretty standard. It does look like a Burger King burger, though. 
This patty is surprisingly really good. It's not overcooked, which is very surprising. Wow, I would recommend this. The and they, patty is they really have good. double cheese and cheeseburger yeah. too. Yeah, and the bun is still fluffy. Not, not like the hot dog. We're done. And the lettuce is actually green. They didn't just like throw not a, bad, a not bad. lettuce in here. The tomato's a little sad, but whatever. The rest is okay. In 2023, 10.50 for a burger is not bad here at the yeah. arena. Yeah, they took away McDonald's, so you can't get burgers anywhere else. You can get like a Burger King-ish type sandwich here. It's not very saucy, huh? Yeah, it's not very saucy. Yeah, that's a good thing. And it's not very saucy. Like the the patty is the best part of it, surprisingly, and it's like nice and savory. And you could definitely eat this with one hand. Exactly. And then run. and then the next the other hand will be cheering. Yeah, that'll be me. I'll be like... <laughs> I feel like if we do end up eating at the arena, this is the one place that we always come to. It's like our pregame ritual. And the, the potato chips are only three seventy five. Wow. Look Dude. at how many chips it comes with. Three fifty. Three fifty. So this might be the best deal here. Yeah. I think it is because the, they're really crispy. These are the chicken tenders. They look a little more healthy compared to before. Yeah, and it's the <laughs> spicy one, right? Yeah, there's a little bit of powder on it. But it's not very spicy though, right? I like to eat it with the honey mustard. Is this dark meat? It looks like white meat. It does look like white meat. Still good, still good though, right? You need to hear these chips. <laughs> so good, but it's $17. Yeah, seventeen dollars for this whole thing. This is—I don't think we've ever knock on wood. We've never had a bad version of these ever. Like they've never prepared it incorrectly or anything. It's always excellent. Look at the spices on this chip. It looks so good. Shout out to Dexter who introduced us to this noodle bird. So good. I'm gonna cherish these chips. <laughs> Instead of the eighty dollars or whatever that we spent so far, might as well just buy eighty dollars worth of chips. Share it with everybody. Steaming hot dog. That's still better than everything in here, right? Yeah. Well, except maybe Ludo Bird. I think those hot dogs are better than the hot dogs in here. These ones are greasy and dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this looks good. This farmer's fridge is like hidden in this corner over here next to section 117. It looks really good. So a lot of it looks like it's under $10, huh? You can actually get some healthier options here, huh? And it gives you all the ingredients. Sorry on the little conveyor belt. My my pasta. Dress relief in a jar. And then you put the jar back in here. It says swing to open. Yeah, there you go. That's nice. Cool. Tomatoes. I'm glad they're having healthy options because I was, I want to say like five years ago, I was like looking around, everything is like unhealthy. It's so good. I love it. If you need to eat and you want something semi healthy that tastes good mm. and that's cheaper than, it's under $10, right? Wow. I'm just so surprised. I'm glad I got it. Anyway, I came to my first game at the old sports arena where the Clippers used to play, like years and years ago. I went with my friend Gianni and his dad. My mom gave me $10 to buy something at the game. But then my friend's dad, he ended up paying for it. And the only thing that I, I really felt like eating was those like long licorice sticks. I don't what? think they have that anywhere here. It's fun to eat as a kid. Yeah. Yeah, that was the first thing I ever ate at a Clipper game. It was funny because like, I ended up bringing the $10 back home because our friend's dad paid for it. But then when he bought it, he, we ended up taking it back to the seats and like he took a piece of it. And I was thinking, maybe I wanted to buy one for myself so I could eat the whole thing. Oh, he loved it that much? <laughs> no, just a fat kid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was the first thing I ever ate at a Clipper game. And that's everything we ate at the Clippers game. There's only two things that are worth eating, plus one surprising one, <laughs> yeah. which was the vending machine.
Yep. Definitely get Ludoberg. Definitely get the vending machine with the healthy food. <laughs> yeah, and I say you can get the char burger because that one was pretty good and it was pretty cheap. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys get a chance to try these things, please let us know what you think about it. Or if there's something else that we missed, let us know. We tried to get through everything on the list, but yeah. for the most part, they're not really worth it. Yeah. All right, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.